Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss the following question and the question says that Find the compound interest on $300 for 2 years at 2.5% per annum, interest being payable half yearly. Now, we know that simple interest is equal to P into R into T upon 100 where P is equal to the principal, R is equal to the rate of interest and T is equal to time. Amount is equal to Principal plus interest. And compound interest is equal to amount minus original principal. With this key idea, let us proceed with the solution. Now, according to the question, we need to find the compound interest on $300 for 2 years at 2.5% per annum, interest payable half yearly. Let the principal be equal to P which is equal to $300. Rate of interest R is equal to 2.5% per annum which is equal to half of 2.5% per half year. which is equal to 1 one fourth percent per half year. The time T is equal to 2 years which is equal to 2 into 2 which is 4 half years. So, we will find the interest for 4 periods where the principal for each period will be equal to amount of the previous period. Now, the principal for the first period is equal to $300. As we know, simple interest is equal to P into R into T upon 100. Therefore, here the interest for the first period is equal to 300 into 5 by 4 into 1 by 100, which is equal to 15 by 4 dollars, that is equal to 3.75 dollars. So, the amount for the first period is equal to 300 plus 3.75 dollars. That is equal to 303.75 dollars. Now, the principal for the second period is equal to the amount for the first period, which is equal to 303 
0.75 dollars. So here the interest for the second period is equal to 303.75 into 5 by 4 into 1 by 100 dollars which is equal to 1518.75 upon 400 dollars that is equal to 3.79 dollars so the amount for the second period is equal to 303.75 plus 3.79 dollars which is equal to 307.54 dollars. So again the principal for the third period will be equal to the amount for second period that is equal to 307.54 dollars. This implies the interest for the third period is equal to 307.54 into 5 by 4 into 1 by 100 dollars which is equal to 1537.7 upon 400 dollars that is 3.84 dollars so amount for the third period is equal to 307.54 plus 3.84 dollars which is equal to 311.38 dollars. Therefore, the principal for the fourth period is equal to 311.38 dollars. So, the interest for the fourth period is equal to 311.38 into 5 by 4 into 1 by 100 dollars which is equal to 1556 point nine upon four hundred dollars that is equal to three point eight nine dollars so the amount for the fourth period is equal to three hundred and eleven point three eight plus 3.89 dollars which is equal to 315.27 dollars. So the amount after two years is 315.27 dollars and the original principal is equal to 300 dollars. So, compound interest is equal to the amount minus the original principal which is equal to 315.27 minus 300 dollars. That is equal to 15.27 dollars. Hence, the compound interest after two years is equal to 15.27 dollars, which is our answer.
This completes our session. Hope you enjoyed the session.